Hey there folks, you know me, I love getting my hands dirty and exploring how things work. Today we're talking about something crucial to our everyday lives. Crude oil. No, it's not glamorous, but this black, gooey stuff powers our world. From the fuel in our cars to the plastic in our phones, crude oil is everywhere. Ever wonder how we get it out of the ground? Buckle up, because we're diving deep into the world of oil extraction. Now imagine this. Millions of years ago, tiny sea creatures died and sank to the ocean floor. Over time, they got buried under layers of sand and rock. The pressure and heat transformed them into what we call crude oil, a fossil fuel. It's trapped deep underground in massive rock formations. Getting to it is a dirty, challenging, but incredibly fascinating process. Let's dig in. Before we even think about drilling, we gotta find the oil. It's like searching for buried treasure, but instead of maps and shovels, we use high-tech equipment and a whole lot of science. Geologists are the detectives of the oil industry. They study the Earth's crust looking for telltale signs of oil deposits. They use sound waves to create images of the underground, kind of like an ultrasound for the Earth. These images help them pinpoint potential oil reservoirs deep underground. Once they've narrowed down the search, it's time to gather more information. Exploratory wells are drilled to get samples of the rock and fluids. They analyze these samples to confirm the presence of oil and determine its quality and quantity. It's a meticulous process, kind of like putting together a giant underground puzzle. All right, so we found the oil. Now what? It's time to build the big guns, the oil rigs. These massive structures are like factories on stilts designed to extract oil from deep beneath the Earth's surface. There are two main types of rigs, land rigs and offshore rigs. Land rigs, as the name suggests, are built on land, while offshore rigs are built on platforms in the ocean. Building these behemoths is no easy feat. They're made up of thousands of tons of steel and equipment, and it takes a skilled crew of engineers, welders and construction workers to assemble them. It's a bit like putting together a giant, complicated Lego set, but with much higher stakes. Once the rig is built, it's time to bring in the drilling crew and get to work. Section 4. Tapping the earth, drilling down to the black gold. Here comes the exciting part, drilling. A giant drill bit, tipped with super hard diamonds, is used to bore through layers of rock. It's a bit like using a giant power drill, but instead of wood, we're talking about solid rock. A special mud is pumped down the hole to lubricate the drill bit, cool it down, and carry the rock cuttings back up to the surface. Drilling can take weeks, even months, depending on the depth of the oil reservoir. It's a 24-7 operation with crews working around the clock to keep the drill bit spinning. Once they hit the oil reservoir, it's time to install a system of pipes and valves to control the flow of oil to the surface. Think of it like plumbing, but on a much grander scale. Section 5. Oil's Journey. From the well to the refinery. With the well up and running, the oil starts flowing. It's a mixture of crude oil, natural gas and water and it needs to be separated and transported to refineries for processing. The oil is first transported through pipelines which are like underground highways for oil. These pipelines can stretch for hundreds, even thousands of miles, connecting oil fields to refineries and ports. For oil extracted offshore, tankers play a crucial role. These massive ships are specially designed to transport huge quantities of oil across the ocean. They're like floating cities with crews working around the clock to ensure the safe and efficient transport of this precious cargo. Once the oil reaches the refinery, it goes through a complex process to transform it into the gasoline, diesel, and other products we use every day. Section 6. The future of black gold energy needs and new frontiers. So there you have it, the journey of crude oil from deep underground to our everyday lives. It's a complex process that involves cutting-edge technology, skilled labor, and a whole lot of hard work. Crude oil has fueled our world for over a century, but as we move towards a more sustainable future, it's important to explore alternative energy sources. Scientists and engineers are constantly developing new technologies to harness the power of the sun, wind, and water. While crude oil will likely continue to play a role in our energy mix for years to come, it's exciting to think about the possibilities that lie ahead as we transition to cleaner, more sustainable energy sources. Remember folks, the future is what we make it and it's up to us to create a brighter, more sustainable world for generations to come.